Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Hanging Out with Ninja. Holy horse. What was up, horsey? Boy, this guy, uh... Okay. Kind of floating there. Anyhow, welcome back. I just got back from a little vacation. As you notice, there hasn't been any videos in a while. <clears throat> I actually recorded an episode... A while back for today and I watched it and hated it so we're doing it again uh, anyhow this is the storage building I've never or the villager building I've never showed the finished product I think I finished it on stream here's how it turned out is it the greatest thing you've ever seen of course it is no it could be better uh, we've got <clears throat> excuse me I repaired a lot of tools before I went on vacation just put some workstations in here, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. We can cure some more villagers down the road. Oh, there's carrots in there. Uh, mm -hmm. I haven't played in about a week, so... Safe to say it's been a while. There's our pumpkins. Emeralds. Oh, we don't have any melons. Um, <clears throat> let me show you something else I built. All I did, I threw a little front on here, again, with some barrels, hay, leaves, lanterns. Roofs are hard to do in real life on a commercial-type building. Roof's pretty flat. Um, I'm thinking of changing this color. We're trying to add in some stripped oak. I'm going to show you guys something first, though. Hey, there's the village trader, wandering trader. There it is. Try to do some trees with fences. It's hard to do. This is here because we had to move it because of this. Down here, I built the old iron farm. I moved it to down here. Villagers there, villagers there. See if we can get a peek at the zombie in there. There's your kill chamber. I know I'm going very fast. See the player heads against the wall over there. Oh, we've been doing good. Sometimes you got to reload this before it will uh, spawn them. I don't know. This little composter gives you bone meal. Just put it in here. Because, I mean, what else are you going to do with them, right? That just makes bone meal for you. Chess, hopper, composter, hopper, chess. I don't know, I gotta do something with it, right? Might as well put it to use in case you need bone meal. Cats spawn down here every now and then because of the villagers. Um, the wood planks I had to do around it. Actually, CJ did that. Uh, he was down here helping me with this. But <clears throat> the villagers kept pushing each other off the beds. I do not know why they're doing that. So we had to block him in. And he just stays there and scares them and everything's good. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this big open room. I built it a little large. Got some diamond out of here. I think we'll do the old uh, melon farm down here. What's up, kitty? I don't have any fish, but it doesn't matter. I really don't want to tame them. I already have a bunch. <clears throat> uh, so, probably move the melon farm down here. It's in the way anyways. We'll walk over there and take a look. I And this is what I did in the episode I'm not going to put up is... I've spent so many hours trying to figure out how to make this storage building look good, and I cannot do it. I'm just, I know the kind of look I want, but it's so big, it's so hard to do. So I went with the uh, stone. I think I may change it out. Why are you looking at the wall, dude? Jimmy? Player heads. What is this? If that's an oak plank to... It says a player head? An oak plank player head? Ah. I has got a lot of stuff, actually. Bucket of tropical fish. Hmm, that'd be kind of cool. 
Anyways, I think I'm going to change this out to stone brick, give it some more texture. Let's run over here and you can kind of see the last idea I had before I went on vacation here. It sucks, but we'll look at it. I think I could use it. It just... Really? Just, it's just a little small. What am I doing here? Anyways. Or it's a little too wide to do kind of the idea I had. Maybe it needs to be out of wood. I don't know. But you got to give it some texture. And... To say it's been a pain in the butt is putting it mildly. Dug this out. Got another sorter down here. <clears throat> um, I was going to do a sorter over here. We're not going to need it, though. Because we have enough room. Let me see if... That was weird. I want to try some stripped, up lo stripped oak logs over there. Let's get some regular oak logs. I know I'm going to do the ceiling like this. I like that look. I don't like that. I don't like that. I like that look. It'll be pretty cool. Gives you some natural different light variations. I don't know if it's going to do that once we put the roof on, but we will see. Let's just see what this looks like with the little... Little stripped oak. Hmm. Oh, there's one thing they say to do, and that's like once you build something, just go back into it and. Add some stuff. Build the structure, design it how you think looks good, and then kind of come back to it, keep adding things to it. Like push the limits. What else could I do? See, that looks better. That adds some more color to it. Yeah, I like that. But then you got this over here. Probably trees put over there. I don't know. But this, I mean, should I do it out of wood? I'm just so stuck on what to do with this. It's... <sighs> I don't even know what to say. It sucks. <clears throat> okay, let's fly around here and look at something. Okay. This kind of sucks because I want the animals. Remember how we were talking wide open plains? <clears throat> Free roaming animals. We could do it over here. I mean this mountain kind of sucks. They're not going to go off and wonder. I think this is an island. Yeah, it's freaking huge, though. Oh, it's rain didn't generate properly right there. Yeah, this is a really big island. Excuse me. Jeez. Didn't... Terrain didn't generate properly there. We could. We could make this just a free-roaming area for our animals. And then we could build a little bridge that only we could get over somehow. Uh, let me show you a couple other things. <clears throat> Someone made me a sign. I thought it was going to be bigger. That was going to be a 3x2. 
sub with Twitch Prime. Um, so I made a billboard for it and it didn't, it was just a little thing. This is one of the guys on the server. This is his house, CJ's house and bridge and he's got a man cave and different stuff. <clears throat> so pretty cool. Let's go down and sleep. So I've been doing YouTube for a year now. I did take a couple months off, but um, we're at the year mark. I've done a ton of videos. It's in here. Okay. Okay. Uh, I've done a ton of videos. Sixty-two subs. Um. I don't know. Oh, I should have kept those. Dang it. I think we're gonna just play around with the dock today. Cause even though I've had a week off, <clears throat> I uh, still don't know what I'm going to do with the the wall here. I, I don't know. Let's go to spawn real quick. Let's see if we've uh, made any sales. Chances are no, but we do have iron and gold carrots over there. But yeah, so it's been a year. Let's see here, slime. That's weird. And um, I don't know. Has it been successful? I don't really know. 62 people in a year. I mean, they say the beginning of this is the hardest. Which, for sure, getting discovered is the whole thing. And there's so many different schools of thought on how to grow on YouTube and things you should do. And should you do collabs? Should you not? Holy cow, people have added some stuff here. CJ must have done this. Uh, should you do a collab? Should you not? <clears throat> you know, it's only going to help one person and just all those different things. There's always stupid skeletons here. Where's my bow? There it is. Don't worry, I got him. Um, yeah, so there's many different schools of thought. I don't know. I mean, I definitely think, you know, if you do a collab with someone, it's definitely going to help you if they have a fair amount of subs. But, you know, who wants to do a collab with someone like me that I'm not great at Minecraft? I only have 62 subs. It's like, what value do I bring to them? They can do the same thing with... You know, bigger YouTubers, like, which is a lot of, you know, like Hermitcraft, they're all big YouTubers, most of them. So, of course, they're going to stick with other big YouTubers. and It's cool. It would be cool, like, <clears throat> I always thought, oh, God. Ooh. Someone hit me. I don't think it was that Interman. Anyways, I always thought it would be cool, like, if I got big and let's say I had a, like the Hermitcraft thing, if I had that kind of setup to just take and randomly find a smaller YouTuber, you know, that was decent and blah, blah, blah. You're doing great. Um, find a YouTuber. No sales, huh? Okay, waste of time. Find a YouTuber that was decent. Smaller. Um, talk to the people on the server and say, hey, you know, do you, uh, do you guys, 
You know, let's invite this person. Holy Enderman. Let's invite this person onto our server and help them grow. And then, you know, that person will come on, help their channel grow. And then, once they get to X amount of subs, you know, half a million subs or 100,000 subs or whatever, then you say, okay, let's, let's find another person. You know, that guy, we got him monetized and he's doing good or girl whatever let's find another one and just slowly help people build that way because obviously you know when you have a big following like that you're going to get exposure to other people <clears throat> that are new and just starting out so I think it would be a good way to help people but I realize there's some risk involved to it they could come on your server and mess things up but that's why you gotta vet them. You know, maybe you do some episodes with them, just the two of you or something first. I don't know. Just different ideas like that that I've been thinking of. Doesn't really help me now, but... <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens with all this. I, uh, I don't know. So, if you saw my last video about my injury, um, there's actually another update. And if you didn't watch that, go watch it. It explains all about why I got started in YouTube and just kind of what's going on with uh, my hip injury. I got a call out of the blue earlier this week. Let's not look at the wall. That's kind of annoying. Gets you dizzy after a while. Uh, I got a call and they said, hey, your shot has been approved. So let's make an appointment. So, made an appointment, went to the uh, sports medicine doctor, and he gives me a shot in my hip. Now, sorry, I'm thinking about how I'm gonna do this. Uh, we're gonna build a bridge across, probably right here. <clears throat> let's just go start over here anyway so I get the call and I uh jeez do we need a fence post did we do a fence post guys I think we did a fence post alright let me just think about this real quick Something like that. Yeah, that'll work. Oops. Dang it. Anyways, so I'm nervous about it, right? Because I, I know that this shot has to go into your hip. And most people think their hip is right where their pelvic bone actually is. It's not your pelvic bone. It's a different bone. Anyways, your hip is not located there. It's located back further, further down your leg than you would think. But anyways, this long needle has to penetrate and get into where your hip joint is, which is obviously through, you know, it's deep in your body. So this needle is like a foot long. Now, I'm not scared of needles. Or to not be stuck with a needle, but um, it doesn't really. Oops, it doesn't really bother me. Needles don't really bother me. But when you're talking about, you know, one going freaking a foot into your body, that's a little. Let's put one here too. That's a little. Uh, that's a little scary. So I was pretty nervous about it. Doctor, super cool guy. Um, he's really good at explaining things. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out when it... Oh, dude. I can't count and talk. Three, four, five, six. Okay. <clears throat> so it's going to come like this. Oh, that one. I don't really matter. 
so he just you know he's like don't worry about it it's it, it, you'll feel a little pain when I go through and pass by nerve endings and stuff but it's not gonna be that bad blah 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 and then he gives me a shot and it numbs all the way to my knee it's pretty trippy Then he fires up the ultrasound and, you know, shows you your bones and muscle and different things. You can kind of see what's going on. And he's like, this is where we got to go. I'm like, man, that's pretty freaking deep. That needle's pretty freaking big. So anyways, it he does his thing. And honestly, it wasn't that bad. It's things like that. I mean, it's. You always make it out to be more in your mind than it really is, typically. So, you know, I'm laying there and he shoots me and numbs me, which that just felt like a normal shot in your arm or whatever. No big deal. And then here comes the big daddy. So he puts it in. You feel it. Ouch. Hurts a little bit. And then he's like, all right, you're going to feel a little pain again. We're about to pass by some more nerve endings. Super smart guy. Like he, you know, he's the kind of doctor you want. He understands the body, where things are, all that. Let's go to sleep so we don't get cablosioned. Um, so I think like three times here it's nerve endings and it's just a kind of a sharp quick shooting pain doesn't really last that long excuse me as I take a drink anyways then um, then he he's at the point where he needs to be and the needles in my leg for or in my well yeah leg and hip and everything for like a minute or two And then he's like, all right, you're probably going to, well, first, before it was in there a minute two, he's like, okay, you're going to probably feel some pressure because they're shooting the medicine in you. And I really didn't feel that much pressure. I felt some, but just a little discomfort. Again, nothing bad, nothing like you would think. So if you ever have to get a shot like that, it's, it's going to sound worse than it actually is, unless your doctor's crappy and doesn't know how to do it. But uh, anyways, so I feel a little pressure and needles in there for a couple minutes and excuse me, then he pulls it out. I really didn't feel him pulling it out for whatever reason. Maybe on the way out it doesn't really affect the nerve endings. I don't know. But uh, yeah. So then, I mean, this is a diagnostic procedure to see, okay, does the pain go away? Because we can see it on the MRI what's wrong and this should make the pain go away even if it's only for you know a few minutes this should make the pain go away that's how we know for sure that this is the problem we're treating and the pain went away after he gave me the shot I felt great I haven't felt that good in a long time but oh good are we out of torches we are geez but um, then so I'm at his office and he's like, okay, I want you to move around, try steps, try sitting, just try whatever aggravates it. So I do all these different things and it was like 10% pain. It's feeling pretty good. Like I said, the best I've felt in a long time. And again, it's been 13 months that I've been hurt waiting on insurance to approve this shot. And, uh, Well, that sucks. <clears throat> wow, that popped up really nice. Thank you. So I'm like, all right, well, what's the plan here? He's like, go two weeks. And in two weeks, email me, let me know how you feel. So, okay. So yesterday I felt pretty good. It felt kind of weird after he gave me the shot, um, after I left his office. I'm doing six, if you can't tell. In some spots, I got to put an extra one to make it look decent. Uh, left his office, 
everything felt pretty good. Then I got home last night about 8 o'clock. Man, it really started to hurt. I couldn't tell if it was from the shot or if it was from, you know, the hip pain again. Um, and then today I can feel the hip pain again. So it's not, uh, let's do one here. I want to, this is, oops, this is a straight line here. I don't need. That's a straight line and that's a straight line. I want to kind of try to break it up with the dock. The dock. Anyway, so I, I'm i feeling pain. If any, you know, he's like, we'll just see how you do. If you do, if you feel better, then we'll have you go back to work and keep monitoring it. Doesn't mean your case is closed. We'll keep monitoring it and we'll see. You know, gosh dang it. We'll see how it goes. See if you continue to improve or not. If you don't improve, you're going to have to have surgery. Which sucks, but... Honestly, if it... Uh, if it can heal me, then cut me open and do it. And they, it's arthroscopic. They're not going to cut you open and fillet you like a fish. Need more, huh? So, he knows a good doctor in my area that uh, can do it. Works at a really good clinic that I've heard great things about. I know people that have gone there. And um, so, yeah, we will see how it goes. And boy, this episode is getting a little long. Partly because I haven't played in so long, so I want to play. And no one ever watches. Well, I shouldn't say no one. Sometimes people watch all my episodes, but generally you probably kind of skip around when you watch an episode. So I get it if you don't watch all of it. Just like and subscribe and leave me a comment. <laughs> help me grow. Don't you want to help me grow? Come on now. I'm injured. Feel sorry for me. Um, so yeah, I'll let you guys know how it goes. Like I said, it's going to be a few weeks of monitoring. I'm taking notes, monitoring my condition so that when I email him, I'll have a educated things to say. Not just, hey, it hurt like hell, because that doesn't really hurt. I mean, that's enough information, but. That's not really what they want to hear. They need some specifics. So I'll give them, you know, at this time it was pain level 7. This time pain level 10. Those kind of things. Four, five, six. That'll help him understand what's going on. And Sometimes this shot works. I'm... Not giving up hope yet, you know, I, maybe it's going to take a week for it to really kick in, or two weeks. One thing I am doing is making sure I'm moving a lot. Um, just because it's a low blood flow area, your hip, which is one reason why it takes so long to heal after surgery. So what I'm doing is, I'm hoping that by moving around, it'll... Move things around in there, not do that. Move things around in my hip and get that all that medicine flowing and all that kind of good stuff. Plus you gotta try it out, gotta see. Gotta make sure it's not gonna work. So yeah, that's where we're at. So this dock is going to be one of those things that I'm going to play around with. Um, 
Oops. Like I was mentioning earlier, you know, you make something and then you mess around with it. We had a pretty decent design on the other one. Try to do that here. We had the stone walls and stuff, remember? If you've been following along for very long. Not sure how this is going to look coming in and out. Maybe it'll look okay. Maybe it'll look stupid. And don't worry, we're going to stop here in a second. Let's go back another one. But yeah, being injured like this has not been fun. You know, people are like, oh, you've been off of work for 13 months. What a vacation. Well... Would you like to be sitting at home hurt? Not really a vacation. It sucks. Which, that's why I started doing this. Try to keep my mind off it. I'm doing other things too. I actually have another YouTube channel that I don't really talk about. but I do have another one. It's not gaming, it's, oops. It's more educational. Oh. This is the other part. Let's try something. You guys want to stick around for a minute and we'll try something? Because we have a couple options here. Oh, my phone. Uh, where are they? Right here? Oak fence? We can sleep. And... Thirty-two. But yeah, my other channel is a, I was a real estate agent for 15 years, so if you're interested in learning about real estate, how to buy a house and investments and all that stuff, check out that channel. Excuse me again. Okay, so we've got a couple options here. Where'd that go? Me Christmas. So for your supports, you can do that. Let's not put that there yet. So you can do. Gotta see if we can find a good place to stand, and you can do that. Also, you need some sort of railing on here. See, I don't want to put the wood there because then it's going to connect that fence to it and look stupid. <clears throat> so you could do something like that. Obviously, that's going to do that. Now there is another look you can do. Let's do it right here. Let's take this out. Where is that right here? Whoa. Whoa now. So you can do it there, and then of course you can have your little railing, right? But what we did last time 
was this little number that looks pretty decent, I think. I think the lighting's over here. Yeah. This should look pretty decent. It did last time. I got positive reviews off of it from the boys on the server. Let's see, we went. Good them all? Yes, we did. I think we left one. Guess not. So what we did last time was this. Not horrible. Uh, let's see some real quick. I already think I know what's going to happen here, but don't laugh at me. Don't laugh at me. Where is it? That's just like a normal block. like this. Oh, look, that wall came up to meet that. That's interesting. Ooh. Glitch much? That's not going to work. What happens if you put a wall or put a log? See, what I'd really like... Oh, come on. Remember what I said about trying things? <sighs> See, I like a post here. <laughs> Sorry, I keep falling in the water. What about um, just excuse me while I get funky here a minute. What does that look like? Okay, let's move this. I think we've got our design here. I think we just need to fix it. That we don't need. We'll go here. That's fine. And then take you down. I think that'll look better on the corner. Let's try one more higher. Or 
pretty good. Gosh. See how far that thing went? See, it's one, two, a three, a four. Okay. How does that look, guys? That's not bad. Again, this will be covered up. Let's cover this up. It's going to give him a bad illusion. Huh? That's pretty cool. What do you think? Give me your feedback. Let me know. Now, in the old one, I had some arches. Remember the wooden arches? We'll do that again. But holy cow, this is 41 minutes long. So I have got to get to putting this together and getting it up for you guys. A little late, I know. But, uh, yeah. That's not what I meant to do. All right, there we go. There's your look at it. Looks pretty good. I mean, it's going to look better once it's done and there's buildings and all the stuff and you guys know how it goes. So, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. Give you a little update. I'm back from vacation. Should be getting videos out on the regular. I haven't been doing much with Banished or Minecraft Dunions. Because the old Dunions, I need to, uh, I need to put some more episodes up and Gawain and I are going to play again. So, if you're watching, Gawain, I'll be getting a hold of you. We talked about it before I went on vacation, but I'll be getting a hold of you. Let me know, Gawain, when you're available. If I don't hear from you, I'll get a hold of you. But, yeah, there you go. That is today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. So, I appreciate you stopping by, and we will see you in the next one. Take care.